All right, so I'm going to use the Seiko Vienna Plus to go ahead and create a latte. And first step, I will switch on the machine. This machine will go through a heat up process, so I'm going to pause the video till then. So the blinking lights now completely on green, so the machine is ready to brew coffee. But for best results, we're not going to just go ahead with that yet. What we're going to do is first froth our milk. So we'll press this to get the machine up to steaming temperature. And while it's getting to steaming temperature, we will go into the hopper, make sure we have enough beans for today. Uh, we'll make sure our grind setting is correct. I usually prefer a 8 or a 10 as the grind setting. It gives me sugar granularity in coffee beans. Uh, just a little less than sugar. And then uh, how much do I need to fill? Uh, given I do a double shot, so this is uh, the mid setting is perfect for me. We'll go ahead and make sure there's enough water. And yes, we can see we have enough water in the reservoir. And at this point, the steam function is there. The machine's preheated for steam. And let's go ahead and turn the wand on. Some extra water came out. And now we're starting to get steam from this nozzle. And uh, here it is. So at this point, we'll go ahead and plug in milk about half a cup of milk and let the milk steam up so the goal of steaming milk is to first inject as much air as possible in cold milk and get your right level of frothiness once you got your right level of frothiness then go ahead and heat the milk to the uh, temperature that you want. Um, for a latte, it's usually recommended to have it at about 145-ish. Most people, after experience, can judge the temperature based on the sound they're hearing. And I believe at this stage, it's reached the 145, maybe 150 at this point now. So I'll go ahead and shut my steam off and that's my milk frothered. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and when I press this off then both the lights will blink. This means the machine is now in the cool down phase to cool down to coffee brewing temperature. Now an easy way to cool them down is to just release some steam. So I'm going to go ahead and release some steam and notice the lights after a little bit of temp water at very high temperature is released. Alright, so now you notice the lights changed and now we only have the coffee brewing light. Uh, this is what, uh, what you would usually do in terms of brewing coffee but we're going to use a hack to make it even better. So at this point I'll shut the machine off. This machine has some debug instructions. So as per those debug instructions, and these are not very widely known, but you press these two buttons and then switch the machine on. When you switch the machine on like this, then it goes into debug mode. So I'll try it again. It didn't seem to go into debug mode right now. And I press these two and switch the machine on. And no, still not. It's probably because I'm not able to press them correctly while holding camera. Yeah, okay, now we get it in debug mode. The light blinked a few times. Now in debug mode, and here are the debug instructions. Okay, so I'll pause this video while I go fetch my debug instructions. All right, I'm back again, and these are the debug instructions. So the first arrow points to where the dial is, um, and right now the dial, if I take you back to the dial, the dial's pointing leftwards. And at leftwards, the uh, first button runs the pump. The second button moves the brew unit into work position. So we're going to go here, move the brew unit to the work position. You can hear it move into the work position. And at this point, we'll run the pump. Now what this is doing is it's priming the area where the coffee gets brewed to, uh, to the right temperature. 
also it eliminates any residue from there so you know you're not going to get your old coffee's taste uh, usually if you're pouring shot after shot after shot you don't have to worry about it but if you poured a shot yesterday and then you're trying to pour another shot today then it's important to prime and clean this up okay. now we'll just power recycle this so power off power on again now the machine will move its brew unit from work position to home position get ready uh, for brewing our cup of coffee this blinking light says that it's heating to coffee brewing temperature all right perfect now we'll go ahead and just press the button grinder is going to run moving the grinded beans to the hopper brew unit moving over to work position and extraction here's your shot of coffee and smells good pour it into milk let's extract another one for a double shot Here's coffee, here's the crema, the crema slowly slowly settles up, okay. let's go ahead and pour that into, alright, and here's our double shot latte, and uh, yummy yummy, alrighty.